Thank you again, Madam President, and thank you, members. Um, I rise with a concern about the underlying bill, and it relates to the funding for state staffing at the Security Hospital in St. Peter, which, as you know, is in my district. One of the first groups I spoke to on the campaign a year ago was the workers who care for the mentally ill and dangerous at the State Security Hospital. Those are the security counselors, and there are over 600 of them helping us as state employees take care of some of the most dangerous people in the state, and therefore it is one of the most dangerous jobs. My disappointment to see the lack of funding probably goes beyond the short speech I want to give here. But two things they said to me as we discussed it a year ago before I knew the contents of this bill. First, who's against workplace safety? The staffing requirements of the St. Peter Security Hospital are literally a matter of life and death, as the accident and assault record there show plainly. I ask members, what kind of employer do we want the state of Minnesota to be as we ask these employees and their families to work in this environment? Madam President, will Senator Abler yield for a question? Senator Abler will yield, Senator Friends. Thank you. Senator Abler, first of all, thank you for your work on this bill, and Senator Benson and everyone else. My question is, if we cut 35 staff positions at the security hospital, Will that make the people that work there less safe? Senator Abler. Thank you, Madam President and uh, Senator Friends. Um, the, uh, the reductions we make in the administration are not on the line staff, they're administrative. And very frankly, representing Anoka, uh, in the same way you're interested in the other site, um, we hear nothing but complaints about how the administration sits in their office and does nothing to help the staff. And so uh, my judgment in reducing the administrative staff, it won't make, uh, it, that's not, uh, not the line staff. And so they'll be just as safe as they were. Senator Friends. Thank you, Senator Abler, and thank you, Madam President. I would ask members to consider, as we look at the, to, the cuts to direct care, uh, what we want people to say about working for the state of Minnesota. Thank you very much.